Welcome to Facts Info. We're excited to bring you a unique journey through time with our special segment, On This Day. Explore the pages of history as we unravel the importance of today and delve into the events that made it truly exceptional. Join us in discovering why this day holds a special place in the annals of history. Mackenzie Bowell, Canada's fifth Prime Minister 1894. On this day, in 1894, Mackenzie Bowell, a former publisher and politician, assumed office as Canada's fifth Prime Minister in 1894. His leadership, spanning until 1896, was marked by economic hardships and internal party conflicts. Despite his efforts to stabilize the government, Bowell faced criticism and ultimately resigned, leaving a significant impact on Canada's political landscape during a crucial period in its history. The discovery of radium by Pierre and Marie Curie 1898. On December 21, 1898, the renowned scientists Pierre and Marie Curie made a groundbreaking discovery by isolating the element radium. This achievement was a pivotal moment in the field of science. As radium's properties challenged existing understanding of matter and radiation, the Curie's discovery not only expanded the periodic table, but also laid the foundation for further research in nuclear physics and its applications in medicine and industry. Coco the Clown's debut with Bertram Mill's Circus, 1929. On December 21, 1929, the iconic Coco the Clown made his first appearance for the Bertram Mill's Circus in Manchester, England. Coco, created and portrayed by the legendary clown Nikolai Polyakov, quickly became a beloved figure in circus entertainment. His performances were characterized by a unique blend of comedy, acrobatics, and pantomime, captivating audiences and solidifying his place as one of the most memorable clowns in circus. History Adolf Eichmann's appointment as leader of referent for B. 1939. On December 21, 1939, Adolf Hitler appointed Adolf Eichmann as the leader of referent for B. A department responsible for evictions and Jewish immigration. This marked a significant development in the implementation of the Nazi regime's policies regarding Jews. Eichmann's role in overseeing these operations would later become notorious during the Holocaust, as he played a key role in orchestrating the deportation of millions of Jews to concentration camps. The death of General George S. Patton, 1945. General George S. Patton, a renowned military leader known for his leadership during World War II, passed away. Patton played a crucial role in several military campaigns, including the liberation of Sicily and the Allied advance into Germany. His leadership style and tactical prowess earned him a reputation as one of the most skilled commanders of his time. Patton's death, resulting from injury sustained in a car accident, marked the end of an era in military history. Charles de Gaulle's election as president in 1958. Charles de Gaulle, the renowned French general and statesman, won a seven-year term. As the first president of the Fifth Republic of France, de Gaulle, known for his leadership during World War II and his role in shaping post-war France, was a towering figure in French politics. His election as president marked a significant chapter in French history, as he sought to modernize and strengthen the country's institutions during his presidency. President Nixon meets Elvis Presley 1970. President Richard Nixon met with the legendary musician Elvis Presley in a historic and unexpected encounter. The meeting took place at the White House, where Presley expressed his views on patriotism, drug abuse, and his desire to help combat the spread of communism. This unlikely meeting between the President of the United States and the King of Rock and Roll captured the public's imagination and remains a fascinating moment in American popular culture. Nuclear Test at Nevada Test Site 1976 the United States conducted a nuclear test at the Nevada test site as part of its ongoing nuclear weapons testing program. The test, known as Operation Latchkey, involved the detonation of a nuclear device to assess its effectiveness and safety. This event was part of a series of nuclear tests conducted by the U.S. during the Cold War era to maintain and develop its nuclear arsenal. John Wayne Gacy arrested 1978. On December 21st in 1978, police in Des Plaines, Illinois, arrested John Wayne Gacy a local contractor and community leader for the murder of several young men and boys, Gacy, who would later be dubbed the killer clown due to his side job as a clown entertainer, was found to have committed heinous acts of sexual assault and murder, burying many of his victims in the crawl space of his home. His arrest and subsequent trial shocked the nation and exposed the depths of his depravity. Now it's a tourniquet knot. He said, well, show us what that is. So I took, at that time, and again, it's together, but in order to demonstrate it here, I took the rosary and I said, well, here, you, you put it around. This is hard trying to do this. Why don't you put your hand out? Okay, here. What I told him, I said, here, all you do is you, you wrap it around. You put one knot in it. And I said, then you put a second knot in it. Okay? Mm -hmm. I said, then you take a stick and stick it in here and you just turn this. 
And I said, it causes an tourniquet. I said, that's the only night I ever learned. The Lockerbie disaster 1988, Pan AM Flight 103, a transatlantic flight from London to New York, was destroyed by a terrorist bomb while flying over Scotland. The bomb, planted by Libyan terrorists, caused the aircraft to break apart in midair, resulting in the deaths of all 259 passengers and crew on board, as well as 11 people on the ground in the town of Lockerbie. The bombing was one of the deadliest terrorist attacks in history and led to widespread international condemnation and efforts to bring the perpetrators to justice. Bombing on number for train in New York, 1994. A bomb exploded on a number for train at Fulton Street in New York City, causing chaos and panic. The explosion resulted in injuries to several passengers and significant damage to the subway car. The incident, which was later determined to be a terrorist attack, raised concerns about the safety and security of public transportation in the city. Today in history, discover the celebrated birthdays of iconic figures who share this special day. Join us in honoring the remarkable individuals born on this day. Samuel L. Jackson, the acclaimed American actor known for his roles in films such as Amos and Andrew, White Sand, and Pulp Fiction, was born in Washington, D.C. in 1948. Jackson's career has spanned several decades and genres, earning him critical acclaim and numerous accolades. His charismatic presence and versatile acting skills have made him one of the most recognizable and respected actors in Hollywood. Emmanuel Macron, the French politician who would later become president of France in 2017, was born in Amiens, France, in 1977. Macron's political career began as a civil servant and later as an investment banker before he entered politics. His election as president at a relatively young age marked a significant change in French politics and his presidency has been marked by efforts to reform the French economy and tackle various social and political challenges. This marks the end of our chapter on special birthdays. Gangnam Style by Psy reaches 1 billion views on YouTube 2012. The music video for Gangnam Style by South Korean artist Psy became the first video to reach 1 billion views on YouTube. The catchy song, with its quirky dance moves and colorful visuals, became a global phenomenon, propelling Psy to international fame. The achievement marked a significant milestone in the history of online video and highlighted the power of social media in shaping popular culture. UN General Assembly votes to denounce U.S. recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital 2017. The United Nations General Assembly voted 128 to 9, with 35 abstentions, to denounce the United States' decision to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. The vote followed a controversial announcement by the U.S. government to move its embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem a move that sparked widespread condemnation and raised concerns about the future of peace. Negotiations in the region. The vote underscored the international community's support for a two-state solution in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and its rejection of unilateral actions that could jeopardize the peace process. As we close the chapter on today's historical exploration of Facts Info, we hope you've enjoyed this glimpse into the past. For more captivating content, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this journey through history intriguing, and share the video with fellow enthusiasts. The tapestry of history is woven with countless stories, and we're grateful to have shared a few with you. Your support keeps us inspired and motivated to bring you more fascinating tales from the annals of time. Together, let's keep the spirit of curiosity alive.